Hi friends. Uh, yeah, actually last video we can we we saw the how to uh, uh, open the project. Okay, like uh, build software. It's a kind of a small introduction about the build softwares uh, like a TA portal and a schematic manager. Now maybe today we can see the how to create a new project and then uh, hardware configuration. Uh, maybe that's a small thing. I just want to uh, show you how to do the things. Okay, maybe we can start so last time i used a ta portal v13 now i am using ta v15 okay i'm just clicking the thing that i want to create a new project so i'm just selecting the new project i'm just giving the name test project okay this is the path you can you can actually uh what is it that this is a version okay then uh, you just name into your, your name or some kind of a, a company name or something command you can maybe you can give a project name some kind of a different section name okay that you can do i'm just clicking the create it will create the project new project then we can we can add the uh, controller like a plc uh, then we will add the uh, IO models like uh, digital inputs, outputs, and uh, analog input and outputs. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, actually, uh, uh, while you uh, selecting the new program, right? These are the template option. You will get it. Okay. Maybe we can go by template. This one. Maybe next one. I will show uh, without template. We just click the configure the device. It means it will uh, it will give you some kind of a PLC list. Okay. You just select the add new device. Okay, here it will show the what are the available controllers here okay last time even maybe you can check the, in the last video as uh, when i open it will only have a thousand two hundred because of that software uh, it's a basic version the basic version the, actually the taa portal there is a two version pl software is available one is the basic another one is a professional the basic have a uh, only the basic plc like a thousand two hundred and the hmi basic panels we can configure using that particular basic software if you purchase the TIE portal professional one you can able to configure the all kind of uh, PLC available in the in the in the Siemens PLC like uh, maybe here listed right thousand two thousand five hundred three hundred four hundred so these are, you can use the all the kind of things okay we will select uh, thousand two hundred here okay I'm just selecting like a straight a, I'm just selecting uh, maybe, maybe here a one two one two DC okay I'm just selecting that one I just clicked okay it will uh, it will create that particular PLC and it will uh, it will open with the uh, hardware configuration it's like a device configuration maybe I can show you once it's open I can show you okay now it's created okay uh, as per the last video i showed right this is the uh, plc uh, hardware uh, configuration page okay here uh, actually even clovil and i will open from here so you can get some idea where it's normally it's open this is from the under the plc this plc is now created okay and under the plc there is a device configuration you just click double click the device configuration it will leads to open this page okay here uh, i just want to one thing show one thing if you are if you are choosing one to one to right you will get this three uh, actually this is a, a rail okay the rail they call it as a rack okay example the one zero one two three are the uh, rack numbers okay it uh, here the, the the rack number one two three then the plc will always not on the only the thousand two hundred and thousand five hundred plc the new type of plc always always will uh, will comes under the rack one you can't change to the uh, rack example here okay you can't move to the any places because they alerted for specifically for rock one for the uh, sorry rack one for the plc's okay in the second and the two and three are the for the io models okay here we have choose the basic plc okay example the one two one two is limited for the uh, rack numbers example if you selecting the one two one four you will get a uh, maybe more number of slats okay i can show you here i'm just deleting this one 
okay here i'm opening that one i'm choosing one two one four dc 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 okay I'm double clicking it once here from the right side the catalog you double click right it will specifically uh, uh, will will go to the particular rack numbers example we double click that one it comes here okay, you can check here it's it's up to the nine slot number it means you can use the two to nine places example if you want to use all the DADOs okay you can plug it in these racks okay you can use it in your project because if you are selecting the plc 1214 you will get this this number of racks if you if you are selecting the 1212 you will get only 2 and 3 so that's a basic thing they have a limited with a, a basic plc like 1500 it will get the defined uh, th 0 to 31 i think okay maybe i can uh, describe in another video okay you will get the 31 slots racked 0 to 31 so you will use that okay here we we now actually configure the one plc okay one to uh, one four now then we can we maybe we can select the dado okay these are the signal models okay in the, it's specifically for thousand dollar signal boards are it's it's more than over the plc okay this is the place for the signal boards okay and the communication boards also you can use it here okay the battery boards also fits here okay now we can go with the d di okay i'm selecting di 16 okay i'm double clicking okay i'm just placing two di cards here then do okay i'm just using the standard uh, do like we i said right uh, it's it having two type of outputs one the one is a transistor another one is a relay okay you can if based on your uh, application you can use you can choose any one arm okay i'm just selecting the transistor type i'm just uh, uh, select the two numbers then i'm just uh, selecting the one da and do it means this model having a 16 input and 16 outputs okay okay i'm selecting one thing now we can go for analog in the analog okay this analog uh, it is it, for the universal model they call it as universal model it means it will have an analog uh, in uh, input for the current voltage okay and the rtd so we can select this and uh, i think uh, it's not for rtd rtd is uh, sorry it was a mistake rtd is a downside one it's having only the analog voltage and the current okay okay now we can select the analog output okay if you want to check okay you can maybe you can check here you can show you example we selected this right okay okay you can check this article numbers and it's what are the its output uh, details okay here we have choose to four analog it's it's having the output 0 to 10 volt and 0 to 20 it means we can use both current and the voltage for this all the four uh, four analog outputs okay like way we have configured some input and outputs and DDO and uh, analog output okay uh, and uh, and analog inputs okay it's like a we have some applications based on our application inputs uh, we choose the some input or output cards okay now it's uh, it's almost we have done your io part okay then we just uh, assign your ip address for your plc if you want uh, address uh, okay assign ip address you just you just select the right click the properties and select the ethernet otherwise you just select straight away the click the the ethernet port here it's described right? the land port just double click it it will straight away go to the particular specific position so here if you want it's it's a default ip address down it to 192.168.0.1 if you want you can change anything okay example i just want to show you to change something 10.10. .10 and one okay i just want to change to this ip address you can you can similar way you can change for us also now what we have done we have a selected one plc and a dao devo cards and analog output input outputs card and then we change the ip address okay now we have set for the all the hardware configuration it should be based on your application whatever you have ordered or something it's already available right you just check that over uh, your bom okay you have the material just uh, use the same mlfb here they listed right the same one you have to choose 
and it will it will becomes under the device configuration once is it's everything as per your hardware list and the software is ready for the hardware configuration then you just to develop your programming part like uh, adding the blocks and the function blocks functions and the, and the ob blocks okay that's uh, for the maybe i will put in the separate video for now the moment we have done our hardware configuration for the 1200 plc maybe we can uh, the similar way for the all the 1500 also similar way maybe i can put another video for that okay now it's for the 1200 plc we have uh, created a new project we have created a hardware configuration okay if you have something uh, have uh, any kind of doubts or some kind of questions just raise in the command section maybe i will answer it thanks friends bye bye